Uh, Travis, we've heard uh, a few of the cons possibly or some of the challenging things that may come about, of course, with the draft being moved back to November and then uh, the season possibly starting in uh, December or later. But could you talk about some of the things that may give your young team an advantage, uh, having this time off, being able to build now, and then moving moving forward with some of the things that may be an advantage for your young team? You know, the, the advantage, that's tough because – if we were in a normal off season, we're able to get guys on the floor and have them playing against each other, but we're not, as I mentioned, after we get through this two week period, uh, we'll be right back to the one on O. So from an individual skills perspective, you know, that's great, but you know, a lot of our guys, you know, they just need to play. They need the experience of playing. And, you know, this is unfortunately an off season where, where we're not getting that, you know, we are not getting, you know, summer league, at least, uh, you know, right now, you know, that, that would have been great. As we all know, DeAndre, Cam, you know, those guys get to get in play summer league last year. And whoever we draft in November, you know, that opportunity is not there. So it, it really is, it's, it's, it's not, a, it's not, I wish I could tell you there are a bunch of positives, but it's really hard to see them. And, you know, the fact that we were unable to go to Orlando, you know, that hurts, you know, those teams in Orlando got 11 games. And the league's done a great job giving us window, but you know this two weeks is not going to equal it to eleven games that those teams got. 